An update now on a story you first saw on CBS2. A Long Island charity's mission was grounded after somebody stole their power tools, which were used to build homes for disabled people. But CBS2 viewers came through. CBS2's Carolyn Gussoff reports from Hempstead, Long Island. From sadness and silence to the buzz of power tools. Working overtime at this Hempstead home renovation after last week's tears. You're not just hurting us, you're hurting a, a mom here who has a, a disability. Yeah. And a disabled child. Now replaced with joy. I say this is groundbreaking. The community coming out and, and really rescuing us when that's usually our job. The nonprofit Rescuing Families was grounded after power tools were stolen from this total renovation for Claire Helfenbein. The disabled mom just learned of an outpouring of generosity that enables work to continue. It's going to be like a blossom of, of goodness, and it's exactly what happened, and I'm so happy. From viewers, like Carmen Rodriguez of Yonkers, who showed up with a truckload of tools. So I just went on board. I figured they're going to need to complete their, their mission. I feel blessed that I could do it. This father and son from New Jersey saw our story. And then when I saw that, I'm just like, oh, we're coming. You're just compelled. When you've gone through your own hardships, that's when you generally get it. You hope you do well, you know, and help other people, and you hope eventually it comes back to you. Someone also forwarded our story to the Milwaukee Tool Company. A representative told me they'll make this group whole again with new tools sent here by the end of the week. Just write down your wish list, and we're going to give you everything you need to continue helping these families. It so from bad came good? Oh my God, from bad <laughs> came amazing. For every person that's maybe not so great or does things like these people did to us, there are hundreds more yeah. that want to do good. The house will be completed just a few days late, then they're off to rescue the next family after the public rescued them. In Hempstead, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS2 News.